Hello, this video will be fairly short. I'm going to show you how to install ungoogled Chromium. This is <clears throat> this is essentially Google Chrome, but it's open source and it has um, disconnected itself completely from Google. So any tracking that Google does um, inherently from the browser, it has taken that out and um, certain features like I believe extensions uh, you have a harder time with so let's just get right into it Google Chromium Ooh, what did I do on Google Chromium go to the github repository and Google software you are going to want to all the way down <clears throat> and you can read all throughout what what they have done and even uh, in readme.md that is where um, you can find a lot of what they have done but you can go all the way down to it should be downloads your downloads you have third-party binaries you download the binaries from there uh, if you are not running Windows then these are where you can download it for other other systems but if you are running Windows you're going to want to go through third-party binaries and you will get brought to this page downloads for ungoogled chromium go down to Windows 64 bit because that's mostly what you guys are running uh, if you click this, you can see all the versions. If you click this, then you will just start downloading the, or you will go directly to the to the download for it. Click this, it starts downloading. Once it is finished downloading, go to downloads, run the .exe, and you should like it's it's a simple like setup, executable. Um, once you're in it you might want to like there is no sync feature because they have cut themselves from google so you'll need to add uh add all your bookmarks directly also um, i don't know if it comes with a default search engine of google or DuckDuckGo. so if you if you want to have a default search engine i believe it's in settings um, but once you get it all installed, pretty, pretty easy. You can customize it however you would like with whatever search engine you would like and whatever bookmarks you want. So just run this and it will go through its whole process. But I want to keep this video uh, pretty short. And Microsoft Defender is getting angry at it because... Just because it's a, it's a more, um, it's like a third party. It's an open source thing. It's not run by Google, um, and it's just kind of unrecognized. It's trying to do all of the browser things uh, without having a. It's basically trying to do everything that a browser can do, which is somewhat invasive uh, from a antivirus standpoint, but. It does not have the little card saying hey I'm just a browser because it is open source but this is what it looks like it's very similar you can so you can sign in you can add bookmarks um, first thing I would do is go to uh, not Google. let's go to settings default browser you can make this your default browser instead of Google um, go through that whole process you can also oh, it's right here. Um, I would use DuckDuckGo because they do not have much um, like trackers related to Amazon and Google they do however have trackers related to Microsoft so just be careful about uh, Microsoft trackers 
um, but you can you can customize it. It's it, it they tried to make it an exact clone of Google Chrome, so if you're used to Google Chrome, it should not be like it should be very similar. Uh, but this is how you install on Google Chromium. Hope this helped. Uh, yes. Have a good day.